Cheers. This is very fresh dandelion wine. Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and this is Bill and we are here in gardening zone 6B in New England. The hops are out of freaking control. <laughs> we have created some accidental topiary here. Come, come look. Behold our fancy hops elephant. She is climbing over the fence and trumpeting over the greenhouse. And here she is from the other side. You can see she's really taken off all the way up. Cleared the greenhouse and kept on going. Yo. So tell me what, what's going on here. How are we going to fix this sitch? Uh, so the plan is we're going to make a second trellis by the greenhouse to hold everything up so we can at least get under it without having to do the limbo. I only recently had to start crouching. <laughs> so we've got the wood. We've got the wood. It's actually wood we salvaged from the old chicken coop. Oh, nice. Okay. So we're going to do a cross piece and a couple of uprights to hold everything up and then just a couple of small supports to keep it from flopping back and forth. Don't flop back and forth. No. No. So are you doing like a, a top with notches, you said? Yep. And then two sides mm -hmm. and a cross. And then a, a couple pieces to keep it from pitching back and forth. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. We had a huge storm last night, so I'm mostly looking into if there's any damage. Ooh, we look good here. This one, I really took out a lot of leaves. We've had a whole bunch of yellowing. What's most interesting to me about how the tomatoes are yellowing is that it's been happening mostly in this bucket, which is the bucket that gets the most sun. Um, and you know, I would have thought it would be one of the shadier ones, but these guys over here that get far less sun, um, I'm pulling out far fewer. I don't know if this is any good. This tomato, yeah, this is not a great tomato. Let's pull this off. A, it's, it's good enough for the chickens. Um, and B, I don't want my plant to waste any more energy on it. I brought you raspberries. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Pocket Harvest. Hello. So, um, I see you've got that support in. Kinda. Um, yeah, there's, there's way too much weight on the head end. And it still hangs low. low. Does it wobble to and fro? No, it's actually pretty stable at the moment. Okay. So, uh, back to the drawing board. Uh, yeah. Maybe, does it need, I think even just making it taller would be, you're going to have to do something in the middle. Yep. That's all. Yep. Let me oh. experiment. Or we leave it as an elephant to live out its days. Let me try some things. All right. There is a bucket in the kitchen. Why do you say there's no way it's going to be done? Both these recipes say I'm looking at about a four month turnover time and it's only been about two and a half. Oh, okay. Um, so it's starting gravity is 1.1 um, and both of the recipes recommended siphoning it when it gets down to 1.0. But this has definitely got some floaters from the dandelion. It smells hoochie. It definitely smells hoochie. It smells way hoochier than last year's batch did. We're at about 1.035. I don't know if you want to try to sneak this in here. Um, you'd have to look at it through the I sun. If I, but... I don't know if I can. Hold it up. Oh, 
Oh, it almost I did. Can I just hold this for a second? Mm-hmm. Here, let me make it smaller for you. I need to see where your camera actually is. Okay. I'm gonna come over to the window and then. There you go. Wow! That's what I'm looking at. Is the blue line. So when this started, this was all the way up at 1.1. And it's dropped significantly since, but I think it's still got a bit of a ways to go. I may just put this back for now with a little bit more sanitizer in the, um, a little bit more sanitizer in the airlock, but I do actually want to try this. Okay. Cause you're gonna use it as a ladle. Literally just gonna dip this in here and you may as well sanitize it. Tastes like a sour white wine. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me taste. It's really pleasant. It's pretty refreshing. It's a little acidic, but it's dry. It's not bad at all, actually. Cheers. This is very fresh dandelion wine. It's tart, but it's dry. It is dry, which I really, really like. So um, last year we put citrus in this, and this year I did not. This is just a straight dandelion wine. I like this so much better. Yeah. Here, hang on. <laughs> Drying off okay. the... Still got time in the basement, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it another month before I even siphon it onto secondary. Okay. And I may just skip secondary and go straight to bottling because it really isn't that much in this. Um, if a couple of flower petals get dragged into a bottle, I don't care. It's really not going to be the end of the world. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we've got just about five gallons of this. And once you rack it, mm -hmm. um, how many bottles do you expect? Oh, I don't know. I think it was like 10 or something, but don't quote me on that cause I really don't remember. Mm. It was less than I thought, but more than I have. So what are you pouring in there now? Star Sani? More Star Sani. Okay. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Okay, what so. What happened? Actually, this is a great demonstration of why we use the airlock. Okay. Because there's a bunch of dead flies in, oh, in no. the sanitizer. Grody. See them in the bottom there? See your face. You can see them floating. No, I hate it. Make it go away. Yeah, I'm going to dump that then. Yep. This is why we use an airlock. Keep the bugs out. I do prefer this type as opposed to the little, the little less trap ones because these are really easy to see when they're getting low. So I'm going to pour the sanitizer to above that, really just above this line, but I'm going to add a little extra for evaporation because it's going to be down there for another month and I'm notoriously terrible about remembering to check on stuff. And then it's got a cap. It's got a cap. It's got a little Good. cap. Ta-da. Ta-da. Stick it in your bucket. Ta -da. Ta -da. And then, <laughs> gassy. And then she's uh, off to the basement for another month. Yep. Hoochin. Hoochin. Oh, oh dude, oh dude. It looks good and still looks like an elephant. This was a challenge. This was a challenge. What did you wind up doing? I moved the support to the center, uh -huh. which helped, but I realized that the the rope I used to string everything up had, um, had stretched too much. So I had to climb up inside the hops on top of the greenhouse and untie the knots and retie everything and pull everything up. So I pulled it up about a foot. So I don't have to duck. Um, probably everybody else does, but I, I don't have to duck. Um, I didn't even think about the lawnmower, man. That's fine. We have a weed whacker if it won't get through. Okay. So you can see they're starting to form blossoms already. This is a hops blossom and it's hanging out there waiting to get pollinated. And then we'll get the traditional looking hops once it is. So there we are. Look what you've done. Proud elephant now. Happy elephant. So, <laughs> well done, husband. Well done. I am very sweaty and covered in hops. He's pretty gross. Um, 
dude. Oh, yeah. Did I mention hops burn? They're like, they're, yeah, they're pretty sharp. So if you're dealing with your hops, you should probably not wear, you know, no sleeves or short sleeves or just, yeah. Don't let it turn into an elephant. No, the elephant's awesome. <laughs> you're the one who went rolling around in it. So anyway, he made it beautiful. Thanks for hanging out today while Bill did a little build and I got some stuff done and we will catch you up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.